This video is a simple instructional guide to installing your EcoFilm Pro professional underfloor heating system. It does not replace the installation manual included in the EcoFilm Pro kit. EcoFilm Pro underfloor heating kit is the ideal solution for heating laminate and hardwood engineered board floor coverings. EcoFilm Pro is a carbon based flexible heating element that offers the following benefits over traditional cable based systems for heating laminate and wood floors. Ultra thin, install almost anywhere, easy to lay, quick installation with no mess, maintenance free and safe, effective heating system, covers all floor sizes. EcoFilm Pro is a professional installation product only. As the individual heating mats are cut and fabricated on site, this product is only suitable for installation by a professionally qualified electrician. Flexel also manufacture a similar heating system, the EcoFilm set, which is more suitable for DIY installation with only the final electrical connection required by a suitably qualified installer. Before installing the EcoFilm Pro underfloor heating kit, please read the comprehensive installation instructions. If you are unsure of any of the installation instructions, please contact our technical helpline and we will be pleased to help. EcoFilm Pro Heating Kit is a complete element kit in a box. You will require the following accessories to install the heating system. Ecomax Lite 6mm thermal insulation, polyester vapour barrier, a thermostat controller with floor limit sensor, adhesive tape and an RCD if not already fitted in the installation. Before installing the EcoFilm Pro underfloor heating kit, it is good practice to plan the installation thoroughly. Using a sketch, mark your laying pattern and plan the positions for the junction box, thermostat and floor sensor. The element is 500mm wide and can be cut to any length along the marked cut lines. You should plan to cover as much of the floor as possible. Areas not covered with heating element will not conduct heat from neighbouring heated areas and will remain cool. Plan to lay the elements side by side with the edges butted together. Elements should never overlap. Make sure to leave a minimum perimeter border of 50mm. The EcoFilm Pro thermostat should be positioned at a height approximately 1.4m from the floor. All thermostat controllers have a floor limit sensor that should be placed below one of the heating elements in an area that will provide an average representation of the heated floor temperature. This would usually be a minimum of 500mm into the heated floor. To install the floor sensor, cut a 13mm wide by 7mm deep channel in the subfloor so that the conduit will be level with the surface when installed. Tape over the end of the conduit using a small piece of adhesive tape. Place the conduit in the channel and feed the end to the junction box. Slide the sensor into the conduit and wrap a piece of tape around the conduit and sensor cable fix it in place. Use EcoFilm Pro fixing tape to hold the conduit in place in the channel. Next, thoroughly clean the existing floor area, taking care to remove any sharp objects. Lay the Ecomax light sheets in brickwork fashion, making sure to cover the total floor area, even unheated areas. Tape along the edges using EcoFilm Pro adhesive tape. Carefully cut a channel in the insulation boards to accommodate the sensor conduit channel. Tape over the conduit using EcoFilm Pro fixing tape. In rooms with concrete subfloors and potentially high heat losses like conservatories, consider using a double layer of 6mm Ecomax light to minimise heat losses to the subfloor. Roll out the first element, copper side down, leaving a minimum 50mm gap from the walls. Ensure the element is completely flat, then cut the element to length along the marked cut lines. Insulate the cut ends of the edge mounted copper conductor bars with the green insulation discs supplied. When you're happy with the position of the cut length of EcoFilm, tape it to the floor insulation. This is important, as individual lengths should never overlap, as this may lead to localised overheating. Continue rolling out the heating element panels parallel to the last and tape in position to the floor insulation. When laying the heating element, leave a minimum 50mm gap from walls or floor mounted furniture. 
never overlap the heating elements. Install the thermostat flow sensor in the conduit directly below a heating element. Ecomax light insulation must be used in conjunction with the Ecofilm Pro heating element. On no account should an alternative insulation material be used. When the subfloor surface has been covered, install the power supply wiring harness. You should plan your connection circuits on your previously prepared layout sketch. Element circuits can be daisy chained together, recognising wiring colour convention. This makes it easy to deal with centrally mounted floor obstructions or small remote floor areas as individual elements can be connected together to continue the circuit. Care should be taken with this ability to continue to add individual elements to a single circuit. The maximum current through any individual circuit should not exceed 10 amps. If this value will be exceeded, the installation should be divided into multiple circuits. It is good practice not to exceed 30 linear meters of 500 mm wide element in any one circuit. To install the wiring, remove the double layer of insulation from the supply cable to expose 6 mm of bare wire. Insert singly or in pairs into the cylindrical ferrule of the crimp connector and crimp into position with the ratchet tool. When inserting a single wire into the ferrule, the bare wire should be doubled over to fill the ferrule before crimping. Now the cables are attached to the crimp connectors, they can be fixed to both copper conductors at one end of the element. The crimp should be fitted to the element using the supplied ratchet crimping tool. This should be done with two diagonal applications, firstly from the hinge side and then from the open side, to ensure that the whole area of the crimp is in contact with the element and pressed flat. The crimp connection should be insulated with the mastic tape provided in the kit. Place mastic on both sides of the connector and gently knead into position, making sure the connection is completely covered and safely insulated. The power supply cable should be recessed into the floor by cutting channels into the Ecomax light insulation underlay. Run the cable to the junction box via this channel and fix with tape, taking care not to let the wiring pass under the heated element. Crimp connectors should only be installed using the special ratchet tool supplied. On no account should ordinary pliers be used. Power supply wiring should never be installed under the heating element. To finish the installation, the Ecofilm Pro Kit must be covered with a polyester vapour barrier to provide optimum moisture and additional mechanical and electrical protection. To install, roll out the vapour barrier across the entire floor, cut to length and overlap adjacent pieces by a minimum of 100mm. Tape along the entire length of the overlaps and the entire perimeter to fix in place. Check the total installed load resistance and carry out an insulation resistance check to ensure the elements haven't sustained any damage during the installation. The installation is now ready to receive the final floor covering. Lay the floor as soon as possible to prevent damage to the element. The thermostat should now be installed. All electrical wiring should be performed to the current wiring regulations by a professional electrician. Finally, fill out and complete the Ecofilm Pro installation plan diagram and guarantee certificate. These are found at the back of installation instructions. These should be completed and signed and left with the customer. For additional information on Ecofilm Pro or any of our other heating products, visit www.flexcell.co.uk or telephone 01592 760 928.